Hello, welcome to the VTM Group channel. My name is Vladislav and today I will show the work of the SBR10 balancing stand. SBR10 is designed for finishing balancing the turbocharger at operating speeds. The stand simulates the same conditions during the operation of the turbo as in the engine, so this guarantees high quality repairs. However, you need to understand that this is not a classic balancing stand, not two plane balancing. This stand is designed to compensate for the deflection of the rotor, since the rotor passes the first, second, and in some cases third critical speed, when rotating at its operating speeds. So, when the rotor passes any of the critical speeds, it bends. And no one can predict which way it will bend and how much. But its bend is always in the same direction. Therefore, when testing on this stand, we fix the angle at which it deviates and the value, and then by filing the nut, we compensate for this provoker of imbalance. And this makes it possible to ensure that the rotor will last longer. This stand consists of a computer with a measuring system, a pressure gauge that shows the air pressure in the system, a pressure gauge indicating the oil, a thermostat that warms up the oil, control button start stop air, start stop oil and turn on the oil heating. Further, it consists of a speed sensor, a protective shield, a suspension, and an activator housing for the turbine. Also, each stand has an individual magnetizer. At the bottom of the stand there is an oil pressure adjustment, as well as an oil station. To begin with, the turbochanger must be installed on a stand. We are doing this. A rigid fixation is absolutely necessary. Connect the pressure, oil pressure hose. We set a gap of 2 mm from the speed sensor to the end face of the nut. So, the gap between the turbocharger shaft and the speed sensor should be about 2 mm. We set the same gap between the heat shield and the turbine cartridge. After that, using the adapters that come with the kit, we install the activator housing on the cartridge. When everything is installed, we check whether we have mashing anywhere. After installation, we take the magnetizer. He has a clear positioning. Here we have this inscription up and move according to the arrow. And close it. Also, for convenience, a label is applied to the turbine. We proceed to work with the program. In the program, select the parameters, select the turbine from the list of turbines, click select. Here, the balancing tolerance, the first critical speed, the balancing tolerance after passing this speed and the maximum rotation speed are set. Next, click the send data button and start the air. First, start the oil. We control the pressure. The pressure should be within 3 to 4 kilograms. The oil is warmed up and we start the rotation by pressing the air button. The 
Then we had a measurement cycle. We see a blue graph and a red graph, also a green tolerance field. We now see that the blue graph is our vibration acceleration, does not fall into our tolerance field. Therefore, it is necessary to make deflection compensation on the turbine. How to find a place where it bends? We lead on the red chart and search on the blue chart. This is our first peak and the second peak. We are looking for the first third of the rise at the second peak, that is, starting from this point and ending with this point. And somewhere right here we will have our provocateur of imbalance. Now the angle shows the right arrow vector. We see that the imbalance vector is on the right. Next, we open our protection. Next, a label is installed on the turbocharger. We put this label vertically up and our imbalance will be right here on the right, our provoker of deflection. Next, we cut it down with the help of a file or a Dremel, we eliminate it. After we sort the nut, close the sensor, close the cabinet, transfer to the screen, press the send data button and the air button. Next, we see that our imbalance is well below the tolerance field, that is, the correction was made correctly. So, a set of accessories goes to the machine. It includes a bar for installing a turbine, remote rings, a magnetizer, a stop, adapters for connecting oil, cap nut for connecting air to the machine, More fittings for oil supply. Next comes the adapter for the lower oil supply and oil removal. There are several of them. Next, again, an adapter for the lower oil supply and oil outflow. The adapter for Volkswagen T5. Universal adapter for oil supply and a sealing washer to it. There is also a spare heat shield for large turbo type sizes. Adapter with left and right rotation and a set of rings to it. Connection to the air machine is carried out by a cap nut included in the kit. The section of the air connection pipeline must match the fitting. The oil station included in the kit has a volume of no more than 10 liters. It has a nozzle for draining oil and for supplying oil. Fill a neck. And a fine filter. Also inside is a coarse mesh filter. Also the pump itself. I recommend pouring into the oil station 10W40 oil and changing it at least once a year. An oil heating awning, an oil pumping pump and also a temperature sensor are installed at the MOS station. The stand is connected to a power supply of 220 volts, has a packet switch on the side panel.